Hello everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite products that I've been using for the month of September and I'm really excited because fall is finally here and I'm just I'm excited for this time of the year. I know I've said that a million times but I am and I hope you guys are too. So I'm just going to jump into some of these products. Some of them are old, some of that I've just pulled out this month. Some of them I just started using this month and have just loved so I had to mention them. I'm going to mention the first product. It's a body product and this is an old product. In fact, I think it's down to right here. I don't think this may be a record for me. This may be the first tube of lotion that I've ever completely used and had to rebuy because I, I used all of it. This is like two or it's like um chapstick for me. You know, you almost never finish all or I don't anyways. I would almost never finish a whole tube of chapstick. I would just lose it. And then I'd have to buy another tube, you know, or have 10 million, you know, I have a million of them. But um, this may be a record for me. This is Philosophy's Fresh Cream. It's a body lotion. And this is the description. It says, heavy cream, one tablespoon of powdered sugar in large bowl. Whip heavy cream until thick. Add sugar. Beat cream mixture to stiff peaks. Top your favorite holiday treats. Holidays. Holiday treats and toddies with fresh cream then enjoy. So you can imagine it's a very vanilla. It's more than just vanilla though. It is just warm coziness, Christmas time, fall. I don't know. Everything in one. And I love this stuff. It sinks right into your skin. It makes you smell fresh all day. You, I smell this all day on my skin. I love getting out of the shower, especially before bedtime and just loading up with this stuff. It's, I love this. I would buy it over and over and over again. Now I did try the body wash that went with it. Um, and I, it's okay. I don't know. I don't think it smells quite as good as the lotion does, but maybe it's just me. It's fine. I don't think I would repurchase that though, but I would repurchase this, like I said, a million times. Okay. This is one of the new products that I got this month. I actually found this in a package set at Ulta, which I think they still have. It's a package set for $49, I think. And I can't remember the value, but it's a really good value. I was wanting to try this. It's Becca's, Becca's Backlight Priming Filter. And it's just a primer for your face that gives you that illuminating glow. It's, it, helps your makeup go on really well. It's just a really pretty primer. Um, I don't know if this is the full size. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look into that. I don't know how much the full size is. A couple of other things came with it. I'll show you what this primer looks like first. It's a pump, which of course I like. And it's just has that sheen to it. I don't know if you can see very well on the camera, but it really does look really pretty on your skin. And it just makes it makes you have a natural glow from under your foundation. So it sets you up for that dewy look. So even some of my matte foundations, if I pop this on underneath it, it helps it not look so matte to where your skin is just like, I don't know, dull. It kind of gives it that, that glow underneath your foundation. And it came, like I said, in the set, it came with the, the priming or the primer it came with this little blush which is I'm gonna also include this in my favorites because I love it it's just a little sample size of the blush I get a lot of product in here though this is Becca's blush this is Becca's luminous blush in snapdragon and it looks really dark I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can see it well but it I go in with a pretty light hand I mean that looks you know kind of too much but if you go in with a light hand with your your blush brush it's not it's not so overwhelmingly pink but I just I think it's a pretty color it's I like this color it came with the primer this blush and it I have to I can't remember I think it came with four things oh it came with an under eye concealer brightening under eye concealer I think I'll list it below I got it at Ulta like I said I think for $49 for the whole set it was a really good deal especially if you're wanting to try all of the little products before you buy them. It's, it's a great way to do it and get a good deal for it. All right, this is something that I've heard a million people talk about, about being just one of the best foundations that there are out there. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I am in the color 
2C1 or pure beige. I definitely agree with everybody. This is a great, I did go get matched. I was a little worried that it was a little dark for me, um, just cause I'm so pale. And sometimes, you know, when you look in the rear view mirror in your car and you're like, oh, that definitely is telling the truth about how my makeup looks. Sometimes I would see where I stopped. So, cause I try to pull it down my neck a little bit just to make it blend a little bit better. Just cause it, I felt like it was a little dark, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna keep it and definitely finish this bottle instead of going back to exchange it. Um, I would rather look a teeny bit, because it's really not bad. I would rather look a teeny tiny bit dark than too pale. So I think this was a good color for me. Um, I use kind of a flat top brush to put it on. Um, I don't pat it all over my face because the lady, at, um, at, I bought it at Belk, and she did tell me that it sets pretty quickly. So I pour, it does not have a pump, although I'll show you. Mine's kind of messy. It's pretty liquidy. It's a definitely a medium buildable coverage foundation. It does, I mean, it sets pretty fast, but it's not so fast that where you're like, oh, I gotta blend it really, really fast. I mean, I pour it actually a little bit onto my, just a teeny tab on my, my um, brush, and I'll do one part, and then I'll do the next part and blend it all in really well. And it's, it's really great foundation. It does stay on all day. In fact, she did say you have to use a pretty hefty face wash at night to remove or makeup remover at night and I can definitely agree with her because if I just use my simple you know face wash I, and then I use a toner or something after it on that cotton pad there's still quite a bit left so I use a really deep cleanser um, at night and I really make sure I'm rubbing and rubbing and rubbing for at least a minute to try to get it all off and sometimes I'll follow with a mask or a deep cleansing mask or something like that just to make sure it is all off my skin and making sure that I'm going to bed with a clean face. All right, the next product, it's just a favorite. I was wanting a navy nail polish, and I love Essie. I think that's my favorite brand of nail polish. This color, it's number 795 After School Boy Blazer. It's just navy, I mean, navy nail polish for fall. Um, I just, I really love this color. It stayed on my nails for a long time too. So Essie does that for me. It really, especially if I use a top coat, it stays on my nails really well. So I'm loving that navy color for fall. All right, the next thing I've been using for a couple months, it's by NYX. It's just their, let's see, what, it's, it is waterproof. It's the retractable eyeliner, and I got the color brown. And, I mean, it's just a regular it's the cream eyeliner. Um, I put a little bit in my waterline today. It stays really well in my waterline. It's not very expensive. There's not much to say about it, but it's a good eyeliner. I'll show you the color. I mean, it's very creamy. It goes on really nicely. So I think it was $7.99. It's lasting for a while, and I can't, can't say much more about it. It's a great eyeliner. All right, so my last products are all lip products. I think I have four lip products real quickly to jump into. Um, this one I pulled back out. I've had it for a little while. It's by Milani. It's one of the Moisture Lock uh, let's see, oil infused lip treatments. There's different, I don't want to say flavors, different fragrances of this. I have the peach one and it's a great, especially now that the colder weather, it's really not cold yet, but I know it's right around the corner. So my lips get really chapped, especially in the drier air. So I've pulled this back out. Um, it's great to put on while you're doing your make, your face makeup or things like that. And it just, or at night before you go to bed, it's it is an oil treatment. It doesn't make my lips feel real slippery and gross. It sinks in and really does make them feel really hydrated. And you can get that at any drug. I got mine at CVS. This is drugstore. Milani is great. In fact, I have two more Milani lip products to talk about. So I will jump into them. The next one, in fact, they're both the same thing. They're just different colors. It is the Milani, let's see. The Milani, I think, Amore Matte Lip Cream. Um, I got the colors Loved and Precious. I'll show you Loved first. These are just pretty much liquid lipsticks. Um, this one is Loved. So that one is Loved. This one's got a little, it's similar, but it's got a little bit more pink in it. So they're very similar, but this one's a little pinkier, a little bit more pink in it, but they're pretty similar. And that one's a little more brown, and that one's a little more pink. 
but these go on. I love this applicator. It makes it really easy because with these darker colors that are great for fall, you know, it kind of, you need to make sure that of course you're inside your lips and things like that. I, I think these, I used a lip liner also just to kind of sharpen up those edges, but, um, it goes on really nicely. It dries down quickly. It's not an uncomfortable matte. It's, I thought it was very comfortable. I was able to eat and I had to touch it up a teeny tiny bit. I could have gotten away without touching it up though. I mean, it really does stay on really well. So, and these are drugstore. Can't beat the price. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but these I highly, highly recommend. The last product I've had this for a little while is by Tarte. It is the collaboration with Bunny, you know, the uh, on YouTube. And she also had, a, you know, Grape Dog. I'm getting tongue tied. Graveyard Girl. She also had the the palette. I didn't get that, but um, I did get her. Let's see what it's the Texas Toast color. I'm not sure if this is still out there or not. I think it is. Um, I didn't get it that long ago. So I love this color. I think I wore this in one of my videos. I think it was the fall haul video. I'll put it here. So it's just a nice. I don't know how to even describe it. It's kind of, um, it's a nude color. So it's just a nice, almost, I don't know, mauve nude. It's, it's awesome. And it dries down nicely, stays on your lips. This is another one that I was able to eat. I didn't really have to retouch it. Um, I think I did a little bit, but again, I use a lip liner to make sure it's nice in the lines, but I just, I love this color. I've really been enjoying this and I think I'll get a lot of use out of that for fall. So that's it. Those are some of the favorite products that I've been using in September. Guys, comment down below and tell me some of the other products, especially the ones that you're excited to use for fall. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like the video if you guys liked these products. Tell me some, of, like I said, comment down below and tell me some of your favorite products for September. I'm always interested to see what other products to try. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.